Here we are at Baird Brothers this morning, I guess into this afternoon now, and we're very fortunate to have a very special guest here at Canfield, Ohio this morning. Uh, some of you guys might recognize this guy. Hey everybody, Kevin O'Connor from this old house. We've had some of this beautiful lumber come to our job sites uh, all throughout New England, most recently Rhode Island. Uh, it is exciting to be here and see it all come together. So we appreciate you guys' hospitality and the high quality work that you do for us. We appreciate you guys' partnership. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to New Canaan, Connecticut, site of the 2019 This Old House Idea House. We're going to go through a little bit, uh, tour the house, and uh, see some of the Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods product throughout the hall. Come on in. As you come into the foyer, one of the first things that catches your eye is this four inch white oak herringbone floor that we manufactured for the house. Adjacent to it in the dining room, uh, we switch over to a six inch character grade white oak. This has a site finished Bono applied finish to it. It's a beautiful natural finish on our, on our hardwood floor. Uh, really enhances the wood but doesn't mask the natural character of the wood. It was uh, a late 1800s home. Some of this woodwork in these windows is of the original home. The designer for Harp and Associate came up with a custom door and window casing and baseboard combination that we manufactured tooling for and uh, manufactured the casing and base throughout the home also. And it, and it fits the historical perspective of the house, but in the decorating scheme, it transitions beautifully into, into the decorating of a more modern deco style. A, uh, possibly another dining room, it's set up as a game room. Uh, again, featuring the six inch uh, character grade white oak floor. Beautiful double pocket doors, eight foot, same doors throughout the rest of the home. And that leads into a, a nice study. Uh, and again, the floor continuing out into that study area. One of the features of the house is a see-through fireplace, two-sided fireplace uh, from the game room into the living area. The living area, uh, as you can see, is adjacent to the kitchen. Uh, again, the white oak flooring, the character grade white oak flooring continuing through. The white oak was used on the island front and sides and also on the uh, range hood. They incorporated that. This beautiful kitchen is supported by this grand butler pantry prep area. Featured on the ceiling is some of our nickel gap uh, shiplap material. Real nice underlit uh, white oak walnut uh, free floating shelves. And again, you can see how the molding takes on a different appearance with the different colors. Okay, so let's go up to the second floor. On the second floor, uh, Carpent Associates requested of us to uh, supply them with the same character grade white oak floor, but we went down to a four inch width on the second floor area. And this room uh, features the floor, the casing and base, but this two-sided fireplace, unique in that it is indoor and outdoor. Let's take a look from the outside. Beautiful view overlooking downtown New Cannon. And not that there is a lot of Baird product once we head back to the master bath area, but it's definitely look, worth looking at. This home has five bedrooms. And then this leads out into a nice little TV game room type area. Five full baths and two half baths uh, between the first and second and third floor. This beautiful gang of three windows with three desks and very well lit with the skylights and you can see just the natural lighting in this area with the light floors really just magnifies the lighting. And again, we have the uh, second floor laundry. And 
and this is probably one of my favorite views of the house. Besides the skylight, if we take our line of sight the other direction, you can see all the way down to the lower basement level where that beautiful beehive fireplace is at down on the bottom. So that is the 2019 this old house, Idea House, uh, built by Carp and Associates here in New Canaan, Connecticut. Our next stop will be in Westerly, Rhode Island, with the 2019 Project House. So until we see you up there, have a great day from New Canaan. Uh, this old house approached us. Uh, and asked if we'd partner with them again on on a couple of their homes for the Idea House, 2019 Idea House in New Canaan, Connecticut, and also the uh, 2019 Project House in Westerly, Rhode Island. The New Canaan home is a new builder to Baird Brothers, that's Carp and Associates, a uh, very nice builder in the New Canaan area, uh, and then Sweener Builders taking on the 2019 uh, project home and we enjoy and appreciate a great partnership with the entire team from this old house. We, we have the, the, the privilege to host a team from this old house this year at our facility here at 7060 Quarry Road in Canfield. Both of the 2019 homes were supplying the interior doors. One of the homes, the project home, uh, the door is going to be featured on, on their broadcast. So they decided it'd be a great idea if they visit our facility and see the manufacturing process of how those doors go through the different steps and stages to become a high quality interior door being used in their project house. Sometime during the broadcast stage of the project home will be, we'll be on their program. We think this is a pretty big deal. Uh, we have a national company organization in this old house wanting to come here and show some good things about the valley. My name is Don Powers. Um, I live here with my wife, Dana, and my two sons, Theo and Nate. We have lived on Jamestown full time for four years and summers for 15 years. Working with this old house and with Jeff Sweener in particular was a great experience. He didn't take any solution for granted. He knew I was gonna wanna weigh in on how everything was done. And having this old house as a sort of partner in the whole project meant that everybody felt invested in doing something great. With this house, we were interested in designing something that was a continuation of the neighborhood traditions of what I call the Jamestown bungalow, which is a pattern of or a kind of traditional home here that everybody would recognize. So when we bought this place, we wanted to restore it to be seamless with that pattern in the neighborhood, but also to extend it and make it fully modern in every way that a, a, a family wants to live nowadays. So it was a combination of, of wanting to show how you make something that can fit into a historical neighborhood, but also show how that timeless design can be modern and fresh. So there are projects we do that are pretty standard and where you can go to any home center and pull the moldings or the materials right off the shelf and build a perfectly adequate home. This was not that. This was my own house that was gonna be highly custom designed and I needed a partner who would think through all of the various options, let me know options that I didn't know existed. And that's one of the things that Baird Brothers did was is collaborate or have a conversation about. When I'd ask for this, they'd say, well, what about this? Maybe you could take this and do it this way. And that was a great experience to broaden my sense of what was possible with millwork. I would recommend Baird Brothers to others, and but maybe not for the reason you might expect. 
What was unique was the level of service and the collaboration and the willingness to either find a solution for a design problem or find a solution for a timing or a shipping problem. And that means a lot to me as an architect. And my experience with Baird Brothers has been that the company behind the product is great as well as the product. The second project that we, we were involved in with this old house was on Jamestown Island. It was constructed by Swinner Builders. The neat thing about it was the architect for both projects, it was going to be his own personal home. He himself, Don Powers, and his wife Dana and their children, they refer to it as a net zero home. Probably the most technologically advanced home that I have ever been in, from the heating system to the construction of the roof, the, the construction of the walls. They were very easy to work with in that once we had discussion, they understood our product line, our offerings. They, they put that to work to accomplish their vision of, of their home. Through the uh, building practices, energy efficiency, the wall system, the roof system, to the solar panels on their garage. Don wanted to achieve the smallest footprint that he could in constructing this remodel slash new home. We supplied the hardwood flooring. We did a quarter sawn white oak floor in that project. The custom white oak doors that we manufactured were nothing short of stunning. Because of our, our product offering, it allowed Don to dream his dreams and accomplish it.